much fun yesterday trying this vlogging thing, I'm going to attempt it again by describing to you or showing you how I make my kids loft bed. Now, as you know, or may not know it, we live with my in-laws. We are eight people in one house. My three kids share one room. At least they would if my son actually slept in this room, but he usually is in the floor of our room. That's a whole other issue. We're okay with it. But every day, part of my chores, of course, is to make beds. Now, Nana and Pop, when this was just the place my kids visited, bought this bed from a friend or inherited it from a friend. I'm not actually sure how this bed got here, but here it is. And I'm sure it was just lovely when it was just something occasionally that needed to be made. What I have realized is that while as a kid, I thought bunk beds were cool and my friends who had them were cool. I'm not thinking that anymore. This is a loft bed. Down below, we've added a mattress that came from our old house so that one of our kids can sleep on the bottom. This changes every night, just to be fair to both kids. So here's loft bed, which is almost the bane of my existence, not quite, but it does provide a great workout. So I'm going to demonstrate to you how I make my kids loft bed. First, I'm short. Thus, I have to nearly gym gymnastically maneuver myself up there to get whatever's up there down on the floor. So I can easily grab everything else, toss it. Now, I am not quite the OCD perfectionist some people may be, so as long as this thing gets made, I'm happy. As long as end result looks neat, I'm happy. Heck, I even praise the days my kids actually make this bed themselves. Few and far between, but still, it happens. When it does, I rave about it. You'd think that'd make it happen a lot more. It truly, it just doesn't. So there you see. Now, I am just OCD enough to try to make this comforter that is folded in half to be a twin comforter rather than a full comforter. I'm just OCD enough to make this try to look as neat as possible. Then comes the pillows. Again, I'm short, so I toss the pillows up. I toss the pillows up. As long as they make something that resembles neatness, again, I'm okay with this. Tell you the truth, sad fact is, even if I made it perfectly perfect, it would not look like this at the end of the day. It totally wouldn't. Why? Well, during the day I just have Maggie home. Kids come home, Bridget and Megan make this into whatever their play of the day is. And friends get on it because it's way cooler to be up high than it is to be down low. And, of course, I was a kid once, so I get it. As a parent, hmm, frustrating. But there you have it. That's how I make my kids loft bed. 